uh, if we look around, uh, uh, UNICEF India is pretty much like a microcosm of uh, UNICEF globally. Uh, what it means is that uh, everything that happens in UNICEF around the globe, uh, some part or other of every activity is being performed out of India, uh, as long as it can be performed remotely. Uh, so that's, uh, that's uh, the best way to describe UNICEF India. Uh, every fifth uh, of our employee globally today is based out of India. Uh, so that gives you a sense of the size of the operations that we have had here. Uh, we also uh, work across the entire spectrum uh, of activities. So we talk about delivery. On one end of the spectrum, we have our product engineering here, uh, which is the system software piece. Uh, then go on to the application software side, and then it moves into the infrastructure side, where we have uh, the remote infrastructure management, uh, the, the technical help desk, and also the back office of the, of the field operation. And beyond that, we run a number of practices uh, from India. Uh, things like the, the architect practice, uh, the project management practice, the operations analytics practice, service delivery management practice, sales and marketing practice. So as you can see, you know, if you really look at it functionally, uh, most of the functions uh, uh, that are there in any organization uh, are present in some form or other uh, in India as well. Um, <clears throat> Uh, in, the, in the last five years itself, uh, we have grown in size uh, almost double, and, uh, and that's been quite a journey. And as I said earlier, uh, this is not just in terms of quantity, uh, but also in terms of quantity, I'm sorry, quality of what we deliver from India. So not just uh, the, the, the factories of deliveries, but also the high-end practices uh, that I just now described. Uh, 